AITA for telling my dad the real reason why he's not allowed to babysit. Throwaway account because some co-workers know my main and this is rather personal. English is not my first or second language. So I apologize if I'm not expressing myself clearly. I. 34F. I'm the eldest sibling of four and my son. 2.5. Is the only grandkid of my father. 69M. Me and my husband have been WFH and caring for our child ever since my maternity leave ended about a year ago. It was okay at first because we both have flexible schedules but about a year in we realized this arrangement was not the best for our mental health. We decided to hire a nanny Monday and Tuesday so that we can go to the office, socialize with adults and work uninterrupted a couple days a week. The woman we hired shares the same parenting ideas and has a three yo who she brings to our house on the days she babysits. We're extremely happy with her and our kid always looks forward to spending time with them. My father, retired, is extremely unhappy we don't just bring the child over to his and leave his grandson with a literal stranger instead of family. The thing is, my father knows nothing about kids and is unwilling to learn. Claiming he's already an expert. He hasn't changed a single diaper in his life. He was the kind of father that comes back from work. Eats dinner. Scolds the younger kids for 15 minutes and retreats to his office to drink whiskey and read for the rest of the evening. Ever since my son was born dad has been giving unsolicited parenting advice that are borderline. Insane. Like telling me to potty train a four mo, and mocking my parenting choices. I've put up with him only because I know how hard it's been for him since mom passed away three years ago but I would never trust him with my kid. This weekend he came over for dinner and we had a huge fight about the nanny situation. I lost it and basically told him I'd never leave my son alone with him because he's incompetent to a point it's dangerous to leave a child alone with him. He got offended and told me he knows much more than I do because he raised four kids. This is where I might be the asshole. I told him he didn't raise us. Mom did. Asked him what my brother was allergic to. When my birthday was and similar things just to prove a point. He did not answer and stormed off. My husband thinks I might have been unnecessarily harsh. I admit to having raised my voice and mocking his so-called parenting on purpose. And my sister thinks I'm the awe for talking to dad like that as he's been struggling ever since mom passed away. So, AITA? He was not a father and expects to be a grandfather? Talk about being out of touch with reality. Dot lol. NTA. NTA. Not only does your father not respect your decisions, but he's not willing to make any effort to possibly look after his grandchild one day. There's no reason for there to be a fight about this. You and your husband hired a nanny and no one has a say in it. It seems that your father was insistent and unpleasant. And he ended up facing the consequences. You dad doesn't know what his own children's allergies are. Hell no your NTA he had his chance to prove his skills in childcare in your first hand. Experience tells you that he's incapable. Your baby is not the way to test him. He has to know that his wife did the majority if not all of the childcare so it's ridiculous for him to keep pushing you about it and then getting mad at you when you told him the truth. Yeah maybe it was harsh but your child's safety is not the time or place to back down to keep from making waves nta this is a classic don't dish it out if you can't take it situation he's been on the attack for a while it's time for that to stop nta any parent who does not know their child's birthday has failed as a parent nta he feed around and found out all you did was tell the truth and he wasn't able to handle it. If he can't handle an adult discussion without a tantrum, he certainly isn't able to handle taking care of an actual child. 
NTA. You guys need to stop using the mom passed away excuse. It's been three years. Longer than that child has been alive. If he still cannot function he needs to seek out some mental health and grief resources. Your reasons are perfectly logical. He seems like he needs to win this fight. And the parenting decision fights. More than he wants to spend quality time with his grandchild. With all kindness. Your mom passed three years ago. Are you supposed to treat your father with kitty gloves for the rest of his life? That could be 2,530 more years. NTA. As a very much hands-on father that has changed many a diaper. I'm with you. He has no clue. He doesn't get to do it. NTA. You were harsh. But could he answer your questions? I'm assuming no. As a mom, we have to put the safety of our kids above all else. Even dad's feelings of loss. Your dad sounds like he doesn't know what to do with himself. Looking after your child was probably a way for him to feel life he has direction. Perhaps you and your sister could look into places he can volunteer or hobbies he can get into. Your mom sounds like wonderful and he feels lost without her. He needs his own life but perhaps has no idea how. Good luck. Ah, to have the entire hyperbolic confidence of an incompetent man. Some people get the shock of their lives when they're no longer indulged in failing upwards. NTA. NTA. The thing is, you wouldn't have had to tell him the truth if he wasn't the one constantly brining up a situation. That was none of his business. He could have gone on thinking he was this awesome dad if he didn't keep trying to run your life. You were not harsh until you needed to be due to his badgering you. NTA. Your dad sounds like any number of parents who rewrite their parenting history in their own minds. So they don't have to face just how horrible they were at it. The fact your dad doesn't even know one of his kids' allergies is telling. As your sister if she has children she is welcome to leave them with your father if she so chooses. However your children will not until they are least a legal adult who can drive away when he starts. Any of his child rearing foolishness. Tell him that unless he learns how to cook, clean, change and stay sober, he's soon going to lose even being a grandparent. Because you will cut him off indefinitely. NTA. Yeah I wouldn't want my kids with an abusive drunk either. Ah. My dad also hadn't changed a diaper when my kiddo. His fourth grandkid. Was born. But my mom had passed and I had moved in during COVID so neither of us was alone. I'm a single mom. And do you know what he did? He stepped up. He changed some diapers. He listened to me as the parent. He played with and held my kiddo and got involved. It sounds like your dad is uninterested in any of that. He can't have his cake and eat it too. If he wants to be a grandpa. Not a dad doover. A grandpa. Second to the rules of the parents. He needs to be a grandpa. NTA. But. If you're interested in salvaging things. You could suggest. Gently. Some stuff for him to work on and do a soft launch on babysitting. Maybe ask him to come over for an hour or two on a day you work from home so you and your husband can concentrate on work but also you're there if there's a problem to help smooth the way. That might also get your dad to shut up about the nanny when he sees how hard it really is. NTA. You just proved that he knows nothing about his own kids and that he knows nothing about taking care of any kid. He needed it spelled out for him. NTA. But if he doesn't know your birthday you might want to worry about dementia. NTA at all. And your husband's opinion is not really relevant here because he didn't grow being no traced by your dad. I would also go to low very low contact with your dad. NTA. Sounds like he needs to hear some home truths. 
He's lucky in all these years no one ever called him out on how uninvolved and unhelpful of a parent he was to his children and your mother respectively. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.